All right, this is Anthony Smoke. Today, I'm gonna to show you four different functions in Excel that we're going to use to solve a common use case. Now, I've already shown you how to do this in SQL, but today we're in Excel. I'm gonna show you all of this in under three minutes. Make sure you stick with Okay, I'm in Excel, and I'm going to take this list where I have emails in their own individual cells, and I'm going to turn it into this list where I have emails that are comma delimited, uh, unique in alphabetical order by each team. And it's going to be five steps for functions. Okay, our first function is the unique function. So let's go unique here. And it's going to be unique team IDs. And you see, I get my team ID list there, one through seven. Okay, our next function up is the filter function. So I'm gonna apply the filter function against all of these elements that I want comma delimited. I'm gonna hit uh, function F4 for an absolute reference. And then the next argument is the filter clause essentially. So I want to say where the team ID, again, function F4 uh, for absolute reference is equal to uh, this cell right here, E2. And that's going to give me all of the uh, team members associated with team ID one. Now I want this list to be unique. I can only have one Chris Weber on the floor at a time because we don't have that many timeouts left. So I'm gonna go up here and we're gonna wrap this in the unique function. And I will put the ending parentheses and you'll see um, the extra Chris Weber goes away, the extra Jawan Howard goes away. So we're unique with our list at this point. Now, let's put our lineup in alphabetical order. To do that, we're going to use the sort function. So I'm just gonna say sort around this, and the default is ascending order, and there we go. Our lineup is in alphabetical order. And now finally, this is where the magic happens. We're gonna use the text join function to bring everything home. So I'm gonna type text join, and I have to give it a delimiter. So we want a comma delimiter. I'm gonna put a comma, space, uh, then close that out. Now, I don't need uh, this next argument, and then I'm just going to uh, close this up. And if we take a look here, you can see that I have all of these values in one cell. And I'm just going to copy these down so it applies to all my other cells, right? And how cool is that? Here we are, all of our values, comma delimited together in one cell by a group. Shout out to UNLV 1990, greatest college hoops team of all time. If you disagree, let me know in the comments. This is Anthony Smoke. Thanks.